Hey guys, John here, we're tiny trucking. Uh, somebody asked if I could take the body off and show it off, so most definitely. Let's have a first look. So, inner fenders on the front look to be separate from the sliders in the rear. Bumpers are pretty simple. I'm not sure on the Windigo what these might be for. Um, but I assume just a fan for the motor and it's a part of the shock tower and body post set. So, um, that's what it looks like. A plate that just sits on top of the uh, divorce transfer case. Receivers in there. I haven't cracked it open. I plugged in the program programming card and uh, just set the lipo cut off to three five and, and really didn't do much. Um, the body when it when it sits on. Let's see if I can show this here. It sits just over the inner fenders. And the body clicks in. Real nice. What in the Lego creation? Well, alright. Nolan, what's his name? There's two leg guy spider. Two leg spider guy? Yep. Alright, that makes sense. Body pins it comes with are pretty good, pretty thick, just big enough to be able to uh, get on and off. Oh, if you heard me talking about the uh, Wendigo sway bar, it does bolt right onto the rear bumper and to the uh, link mounts above the lower arms. It went in pretty simple and was in stock at a local hobby shop. So uh, that's what you're looking at. 1080 in a Holmes motor. Pretty simple. I went through and redid all the uh, shocks tonight with 80 in the rear and 50 in the front. So we're going to see how it does in the morning. Have a good night, everybody.